Hey everyone, got something new today. Now this comes right in the middle of my DRO setup series, but this is something short. It's helped me out a, a lot in the last couple of days, so I thought I'd share it with you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two things. One is gonna be my preferred solution for using a cordless driver like this to power the different axes on your mill. And the second, which is perhaps more interesting, is the solution I've come up with for attaching the device to the different axes. And this is a little bit different from what others have been doing. So if you want to see what I did, stick around and watch the video. So a lot of people use these things um, to move their mill bed back and forth. Uh, it's good for doing it quickly. It's not that great for doing a controlled slow feed or anything like that. Usually you have to come up with some kind of a fork system that sticks out the chuck and you put the fork through the, um, the spokes on your wheel and away you go. That's all fine and good. It's heavy, it's fast, it's just not that controlled. And so the other day I was doing a whole lot of um, screwing and unscrewing of bits and pieces for this DRO project. And I was using this um, cheap electric screwdriver that I have for that purpose. And whilst I was looking around in the box of bits that it comes with, I noticed this um, little socket attachment. And I thought, gosh, that looks like it might fit the uh, nuts on the end of my axes here. Oh, and it does. How about that? So I put it in, put it on there. I spent the next two days using that for all movements. It was great, love it. The size of it and the weight of it means I can just have it hanging there. And because it's not very grunty, it wasn't undoing the nuts. That was my concern, is that the nuts would come undone. Ultimately it did, it actually undid this one at the top here because the column's a bit heavier to move than these. But the proof of concept was, was done. I thought that was fantastic. And so what I needed to do was go out and find a better version of this. One that was a bit gruntier and one that um, had a variable speed trigger. Now I didn't go out looking for a better driver until I'd come up with a solution to lock these nuts onto the threads much more tightly. There's only enough thread for the nut plus a washer, a reasonably thick washer, and then a tiny little bit of thread sticking out the top. So within that space, I needed to be able to lock these nuts on there tightly. All right, so the first thing was to find a replacement that was somewhere in between this 18 volt monster and this 3.6 volt toy. After much research, I determined this is the one to get. Now, I don't endorse anything on this channel because I get nothing on this channel. Nothing from YouTube, nothing from any companies. I'm just telling you my opinion, and this is the one to get. It's basically a high quality version of that. It's got variable speed, it's got two speeds. The low speed is zero to um, 450 RPM, so it's very, very slow, which is what you want if you're trying to do sort of fine control here. Um, I should point out that what makes these things screwdrivers as opposed to drills is that the drills have a chuck on them, this big bit at the end, and the screwdrivers don't. They've always got this little hex thing here, which take these hex tools. And they're all one size, everything's that size. Apart from that, of course, these screwdrivers are a little bit more lightweight than the drills are. But of course, they do serve double duty as a drill. And so there's a second speed, which goes up to 1700 RPM, and it's pretty grunty. This is um, Milwaukee's 12 volt range. I've already got some 12 volt tools and I use these battery packs. So I didn't have to buy the batteries of the charger, I could just buy the skin. So that also helped. Now, if as a result of watching this video, you decide you might get one of these, just be aware that there's this model and there's a whole lot of previous models by the same company. This is the brushless model. It'll say so on the back and presumably on the box. It says nothing on the box, but it makes the point that these have 10 times the motor life of the previous models, twice the power of the previous model, and twice the runtime of the previous model. And that's because of this new brushless motor. So just be aware that you might go around looking for a Milwaukee cordless screwdriver and you'll find the previous models, the brushed ones. If you want that, fine. But if you want this one, make sure it's this one. It's the current model. It's the only current model. Very nice, very happy with that. It's not that light, but it's not as heavy as the big drill, of course. So now we'll get on to the real meat of this video, and that's how am I going to attach this to the handles on my mill and not using a fork system or anything like that. And so I'll bring the camera down to this nut here and I'll show you what I did. 
We'll take this one off first. Okay, first I needed to determine whether or not this nylock here had any kind of adjustment functionality, you know, in terms of setting a float. It doesn't. It simply locks the handle down onto the shaft, that's all. Um, there's a washer under it. And initially I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could get like two nuts on there and then tighten them against each other? Well, that led me to the solution I've actually come up with. So I'll show you that now. After I take that handle off, I'm going to just uh, clean up that thread. Just getting all the grease out of the threads there. And I'm going to put this back on. Now, there's only about that much thread sticking out there. It's not much. Now, I'm not going to use the washer that was on there. I could use it, but the thing I'm going to put on there instead has actually got a nice clean surface on it, so it's not going to mar this in any way. And the bit I'm going to use is this. This is M8 stainless steel threaded rod connector. We'll put that on there, just as tight as it was. Okay. And the next part of my little trick, 10 millimeter M8 grub screw. We're going to put that in there. I cleaned everything with wax and grease because I want it to uh, grip. Wah, get that nice and tight. Done. So that's my replacement for the nylock nut is just a M8 threaded rod connector, a nice stainless steel one, an M8 10 millimeter grub screw, also stainless steel, screwed down in nice and tight inside there. Okay, so the next part is how do we attach this to that? And what I'm going to use is 3 8 socket adapter that's held in there tightly and a 13 millimeter deep socket. And it's the kind that has 12, I don't know what you call them, 12 flutes. It's 12 sides in any case. And the point of that is that if it has six, you've got to find one of those six sides. If it has 12, you've got twice as many positions, so it's much easier to put on. And the reason is because you've got this in your hand, and especially on the top one up with the Z-axis, it's not as easy to spin this whole thing. So let's see it in action. You put it on here, and it's so strong, with the deep socket on the threaded rod connector all locked on there, I don't even have to hold this. It can just sit there like that, like a power feed. I can come over here, and just operate that slowly, like that, say, or quickly, or very quickly. Switch over to the other side. How great is that? And with this battery, it basically lasts all day. This thing I had to charge up constantly while I was using it. So that's how that works. Um, I can just demo it up here on the uh, Z-axis. Again, it can sit there like that. Switch the other way. If you're rich, you could have one sitting on each axis all the time. All right, there we go. So that's everything I wanted to show you in this video today. Now, if you saw anything you like and you plan on liking the video, please do that now, because if you wait till the end, it'll skip to the next video and you'll miss out. I'll miss out on the like. I really need it to try and get a little bit of traffic going. So I really appreciate any likes you can give me. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to carry on now with the uh, DRO setup on my mill. There's a lot of work in that. It's going well and it's a really unique setup. So hopefully that'll be of interest when I'm done. Apart from that, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. We'll see you in the next one.